Hi, back to the beaded bracelet and I finished putting all the beads on and the last crossing without a pin I've used a cloth stitch that's cross twist cross twist I could have put another bead there if I'd wanted but I want this end to come quite narrow as you can see on this one it, make, it makes that go quite narrow we need these threads here to be quite tight so that they hold the ones that we're throwing out so round this pin I'm going to do a cloth stitch and twist. Put the pin underneath it and one of these pairs is going to stay in the middle. We're now down to one worker pair. So this worker pair has come that way and because we put a twist on the end I've actually got a, one of each worker pair, one from one side, one from the other. So I'll carry on and go across, across, across and we'll be throwing pairs out. So. Let's just rattle some cloth stitches through this side. Two twists on the edge as usual. Put in the next pin. Go straight across. Even going through, even cloth stitching through that middle worker which is now pretending to be a passive. There we go, put the pin up on this side, tension the workers as you can see they're all quite getting quite tight in there which is good because you're relying on the tight weave that you're creating to stop the ends that are being cut off from unravelling and coming undone. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose two pairs from each side, sorry one pair from each side, two bobbins from each side and making sure and I lift one up that they're not, I'll zoom in and show you this again, I've got it on another video, but I'll, if I lift this cerise th thread up you can see that it reveals the worker underneath there, hmm, that's interesting, hmm. and if I move the next one it doesn't, so this is the one that I want to do. I don't want to throw that one out because it's being thrown out from the row above. I want to throw this one out being thrown on this row. So I want this one, miss one, pick another one up and that again. So these two, oops, that's small in it, these two are being thrown back and I just lay them back and put a pin to hold them out of the way. And on the other side Check that you're picking the same ones up because they don't work the same way here. If you pick the same thread up, it's actually working the wrong way. So you have to pick another one that, that you wouldn't have picked on the other side. So I'm picking two that come from underneath the worker thread. Take those out, lay them around the pin. They are now thrown out or thrown to the back. They're just there. They're no longer in work. So I'll work back across. Oh, just tighten that thread up. Tightening the thread up by putting the pin underneath, rolling the bobbin round, then pulling the pin out. In reverse order, you just pull the bobbins down, of course. So I'm going across completely. Well, the rain has just started outside quite heavily, that's quite... Uh, I don't think you'll be able to hear it on the video though. Now I'm going to take another two out. Again from the side, checking that I'm... No, they're, lift, they're showing the worker. Right, those two, they're not showing the worker. They're not showing the worker. They can throw out. Going back across.
Don't be tempted to cut your threads off too soon. Keep them as long as possible because you can go a, sometimes you can go an inch or more down a piece of lace and then think, oh no, I have to backtrack. And then you find that you've no bobbins to work with. Because you've cut them off into tiny little two inch pieces. So leave them where they are. They won't come to any harm. Right, throwing out another two. I'm not, you'll probably see, throwing the workers out. So let's throw another two out. Yes, ah, there we go. Yes, and don't forget to put your pin up. Come on, concentrate on what you're doing. Right down to those last two pinholes now. I've got the two workers and I've got four colours. Now you have several options here. You can tie a knot there if you're using it as a pendant or an earring. You can tie a knot there and leave a little tuft. Or you could have left more threads in, done it earlier and tie and had a nice little uh, tuft at the bottom, multicoloured tuft. You can choose to plait make a nice thick plait, use several colours in, or you can simply just take them all out, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a pair out there. Just do one last hole, go across, and take the last pair out. So I'm left now with my original two passives, which I can plait. And that plait will go on to take the, you'll tie the button on when it's long enough for it to go around to connect into the loop if you're making a bracelet or however you want to play it. And then to cut threads off, I just dispense with some pins. This is quite important because you can really spoil a piece of lace by nipping at the lace. Now, if I get my scissors, sharpest point is you can actually get some scissors that have a slight curve upwards, which are very handy for lace. Now, I'm taking the furthest ones away. I'll zoom in on this. Now, so take a thread take that cerise one, it's the top one, and you don't go, never go in at an angle, don't go in at an angle trying to, trying to go between pins, you have to go from the side, you get your thread, put it over your blade and slide it down till your scissors are level with the lace, you can see if there's anything else in your scissor blade there and cut it off and there you've hardly got anything showing. Make sure there's nothing on that second blade. Cut. Don't cut your pins, the scissors aren't that good. Right, that's, whoops, most of them off, most of them on the floor now. Right, okay. And here you'll see, you can't even tell that there's any being cut off. All you see is the colours running out. So this is where you choose what colours you want to continue going down. As long as you choose alternates and you don't expose the worker thread when you lift them up, that's absolutely fine. So there you go, that's the little quickie pendant to show you how that one's done. Any questions, do send me a message, no problem, and see you on the next project. Bye.